Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabba QSA. In this video, we are going to continue with the class about computer memory types. So we are going to see the two different groups. Here we have the volatile and the non-volatile memory. And we are going to talk about the difference between RAM, SRAM, and then the different types of, of memory. So here we are going to continue with the class if you want to get your certification CompTIA A+, plus, you can do it. Uh, I'll recommend you to start from the beginning. So here I'm going to teach you the, the difference. Here we have the two groups, like I said before. So if you, if you know when you have your computer up and running and everything is working, great, cool. What happens if there is an outage and you don't have more electricity in all your home? So your computer will be down and you're going to lose your information. So let's say that you are using the notepad, maybe Word, or maybe you are e editing any video, pictures, or whatever, and you didn't save the changes, you're going to lose the, the information. If that happened, is why? Because you have everything here. So that is why you have to make sure when you, when you start working on Word or whatever program that you're using, that you save the changes because if, if not, you're going to lose the, the information like I said before. So we have the, the RAM, the RAM is volatile, so you're going to lose the, the information if you don't save it. And this kind of a memory I'm going to tell you in, oh, today's, oh, in today's computer, you are going to have RAM, D-R-A-M, and you're going to have the other one is S-R-A-M. AM. So one is dynamic ran uh, random access memory and the other one is static random access memory. So you're I'm going to tell you the pro and the cons of each one of them. So the first one is cheap to make. So that is cool. That is why you're going, I mean, in your computers today, I mean, 2017, you can have many, many gigs and it's free. You can buy it for very little money. And here we have the, the, the pros. The pro, one of them is, is use one a transistor and one capacitor. It takes less sp a space and the RAM, you can have a lot of RAM in very little, in a module like it's going to be something like that. So this little size, I mean, in this size, you can have tons of, of RAM. The, slow, the cons of, of this kind of a RAM is slow and if I'm going to tell you why it's slow. So if you're thinking, oh, the RAM is fast. No, yeah, okay. Fast compared to what? <laughs> so to, if you compare it to the static RAM, so slow, high uh, refresh rate and high power consumption. So because this, uh, this kind of uh, memory use one capacitor, so the capacitor over time it leaks electricity and it needs to be refreshed so in order to keep the the data in the in the memory you need to refresh the 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 memory like i said before you have to send information you have to send electricity like like i said if you turn off the computer or let's say if there is an outage on 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 your house on your city whatever and the computer will lose the power and will lose all the the information that you have in the RAM. So that is why it needs in order to to keep working, it needs some kind of cycle or refreshing cycle that it will receive electricity in X amount of time. So that way it will keep the, the bytes and the bits and, and everything inside. And because you have to send electricity very often, you will have a high power consumption. So that is the, the bad thing. And, but it's cheap. That is why we have it in, in all our computers. So you have the other kind of RAM is, uh, the, the pro will be is super fast. This kind of RAM, I'm going to tell you here, but usually this kind of, of memory Will, you will see it on the microprocessor. So the microprocessor, usually they have very little RAM available in, inside. So you're going to see the cache. The cache may be 
one meg, two meg, maybe 15, maybe 20, but no more than that. It would be nice if we could have like a gig or two gigs of cache in, inside of the processor, but uh, for now, that is how things are. Um, of course, I mean, if the processor, if you saw my other videos, I mean, if we have like a huge cache inside of the, of the CPU, we'll have a, another kind of issue, but if you saw, if you see all my other videos, you will know why. So that is what I recommend you start from the beginning. And in this case, uh, like I said uh, before, the cons, we have the, um, the money issue so it's very expensive because it uses six uh, transistors and takes more space so that is the the bad thing about that but the good thing is the power consumption is is very low because we don't have to send energy or electricity to keep the the data inside of the of the this kind of, of run so that is the the good thing so in this case we have the non volatile uh, RAM. In this case, we have the ROM for usually is for the BIOS. So we have the PROM, EPROM, and then we have the ND RAM, usually is for the flash memory, solid state drives, and a 3D uh, X point. Uh, we have the mechanical drives. I mean, the, the, we have the part that is mechanical, so like tape backups, hard drives. Um, optical disk uh, and all those things. So memory types, we have, like I said, uh, we have a memory DIMM. The DIMM, we have uh, what it means. It means dual inline modules. We have different uh, amount of pins. We have 168, 184. We have 240, 288, and we have other memories that will have less pins. So I wrote here uh, what is more usually uh, more usual in at least two days. So here I'm going to show you in this RAM. I mean this. Is, stick of RAM. So what it means dual inline module is because here we have one and here we have the other one. I, we have a notch in the middle. Yeah, I'm going to uh, just keep in, in mind of the notch uh, that uh, I just said because I'm going to uh, I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. So we have the SS RAM, static RAM, like I said before, usually for uh, cache uh, super and is is usually is found in cache uh, super fast and expensive drum dynamic uh, dynamic ram drum is dynamic ram is usually found in memory ram and uh, for motherboards slow and cheap uh, we have rim or r i m m is ram uh, ram bus inline modules to notch, like I, I told you before. So we have the pins is 184, 800 megabytes, megahertz, 800 megahertz, and uh, two byte a uh, white bus. So basically that is the main different types of memory RAM. I hope you have found this video useful. As usual, right, if you have any question, leave me in the section below. I'll try to keep working in the next class so that way you will see the full class about how to become a computer technician and see you next time